got a Spawn update. So in case you did not know, uh, the actual creator of Spawn, uh, Todd McFarlane, has uh, for a long time now been trying to get his very own Spawn movie off the ground and going. Um, right now, uh, the only thing that has had any legs with this story is that, um, you know, Jamie Foxx is attached. That's it. You know, and, and and don't get me wrong, it's good to have that A-list star attached to it, right? I said from the very beginning, I'm not a personal fan of this match. I'm not the first one to say like, oh, yes, Jamie Foxx and Spawn, only because and just and maybe because I'm tainted from Michael J. White. I, I just don't hear Jamie Foxx as Spawn. Jamie has a very um, soothing voice, okay? It's not a lot of bass. It's more, you know, it's just, it's smooth. You know, my, listen, my man is a great singer. You know what I'm saying? He's just, like, if he yell at you, you're not going to be scared, right? Now, if Michael Jai White yell at you, you're like, okay, man, I can quit. Here, take my wallet. Like, I'm done, you know? But I'm just saying, I just, I, it's just not there for me, you know? But either way, on paper, you got Jamie Foxx. Okay, cool. Now, the thing is, Ty McFarlane has been trying to spin this. If you've watched any Spawn, if you watch the 97 Spawn or whatever, which I love. I know it's got problems, but I love it either way because I watched it when I was a kid. Um, or if you watch the HBO animated Spawn. Ooh-wee! That right there. Mm, 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 mm. Um, all of those, in my opinion, were great. But what Ty McFarlane's been basically trying to pitch is something more closer to like a horror story. And even though it's like a horror story, he's trying to have Spawn be kind of like a background character. And I'm like, bro, I didn't uh, no, Like I come to a Spawn movie for a Spawn movie, you know, but anyway, whatever scripts change, stories change, whatever. The biggest problem is the fact that this has been going on for years. And we've got no traction with this movie. But now we do have somewhat of an update from McFarlane himself. Um, and he said that, hey, they're te- he's teasing more A-listers are joining Jamie Foxx to try to try and get this reboot going. Um, one thing he said here, my original plan, plan w- uh, has gotten tripped up a bit. You deal with a lot given Hollywood. None of that should be surprising, but you start bringing on A-list people, and we're bringing on A-list people, not just one, but multiple A-list people, and it's going to continue to grow. You're going to sell it to a studio, and then it's going to grow some more. What they're not going to want is to do a cheap, low-budget movie with all these big-name people in it. That's not why they're signing up. Um, they're not looking for a big extravaganza, but they're also not looking for an $8 million horror movie budget, which makes sense. I get that. Um, but here's the real kicker right here. They're the studios. They're not going to want a first time director. That's the piece. If I got one crawl in me, that's it. If I'm the CEO, if I'm the, if I'm practical about it, I wouldn't take that deal either. They're going to have to take a, uh, excuse me. They're going to have to, they're going to have a lot at risk because of the deal we cut with them. They're going to want it. They're going to want to get it back. They're going to want to get a professional director. I knew that was part of the reality. And that right there is the crux as to why we have not gotten a Spawn movie yet. The problem is not the fact that, you know, the movie doesn't seem good. It's not that, you know, nobody wants to see Jamie Foxx. Obviously, we do. The problem is the fact that Todd McFarlane wants to direct the movie. And I get it. Spawn is his baby. He made it. He created Spawn. He drew Spawn. That's all him. However, bro, you're not a director. You've never directed anything on that level. So you can't sit here and be like, excuse me, Mr. Studios. I would like 30 to a hundred million dollars and I'm going to direct that whole project for you. Yeah. Good luck with that. You know? 
So at some point, you know, uh, um, and I'm glad that this is dawning on him. I'm glad that he's really starting to understand that, like, okay, I get it. It's my baby. It's my creation. But I'm 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 gonna have to give this up. Yo, give it up to somebody else. You're the be the executive producer, okay? Be the person that can hire someone that you can trust to really make this work. Hire somebody who can get a wonderful script together and and put that like you could still be the boss and delegate. You don't have to direct. I'm just saying you don't. And please don't go out there and get some cheap director because I, I really think Spawn has a lot of potential to be a blockbuster movie. Like if you do Spawn right, Spawn could be a huge franchise for the time being. And I know if I'm a studio, I want that. I want Spawn and all the things that you could have five spawn movies if you want to especially if you've read the comics and all the crazy stuff spawn goes through let me tell you something spawn fights the devil spawn fights angels spawn fights god himself spawn be all over the place okay i'm telling you you could have a lot of stuff a lot of money if you really invest properly with Spawn. So I'm just saying, if I'm Todd McFarlane, and even though I know this is it, you need to sit back, chill, let somebody else direct, and here's what's going to happen. When they direct it and it makes a lot of money, you start to learn some things, right? Because you haven't directed. When you start to learn some things, let somebody else direct. Now you got two blockbuster movies. You got a bona fide franchise, which makes it harder for the studio to say no if you want to do a third one. And then you could step in and be like, look, <clears throat> I was running the ship on them last two movies. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. And there you go. Or maybe direct a couple short movies, do a couple other things, do direct a spinoff. I'm just saying, do some things to get your feet wet, but don't let your creation, don't let this baby get cold and you lose that spark. You lose the fire. You lose the interest because my goodness, I, I'm such a fan of Spawn. I'm just saying there's so much potential that could be lost. If, if that's going to be your sticking point, just because you can't direct, no, nah, no, nah, you cannot, you cannot do that. Do not let that be the case. But anyway, uh, what do y'all think about um, Spawn coming to the big screen? What do y'all think about Todd McFarlane insisting that he direct it? But he is coming to the realization that maybe that's not necessary. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.